Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, looking at our core data uh, data model. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so basically, uh, if you notice, when we created this uh, project, uh, we checked on that core data checkbox uh, while creating the project. Uh, that actually ended up uh, creating this section in app delegate so if you open app delegate and if you scroll down you're gonna see the section for core data stack um, it has a persistent container that actually persistent container connects uh, to our core data uh, XC data model file this is where our uh, entities are gonna live and uh, this is how it's basically gonna be accessed Okay, and you have like another method called save context, which is going to be used to save stuff um, for saving, updating, deleting. All those uh, operations um, are going to be uh, are going to happen, and then you're going to call save context, which eventually uh, is going to write on the disk. Okay, so uh, these two these two uh, functions are important. So make sure you have them, and if you uh, miss the um, uh, if you did not check the checkbox for core data, I would say like create a temporary project and, and do it in there and basically copy these two sections uh, from that temporary project and change the name for your XC data model or uh, type it out uh, yourself. It's not that much. So if you remove comment, it's actually um, just a few lines of code uh, that is there. So if I remove these, you're going to notice that it's just a few lines that we have here and there. Okay. So, uh, and other than that, that's, that's, that's all we need. So let's go ahead and, and jump onto XC uh, data model file. And uh, we're going to first create our entities. So uh, our there's just going to be one entity that we're going to basically create. And that entity is going to be called uh, not two. Uh, let me delete the other one. Okay, and uh, basically this, this entity is going to be called birthday. So birthday. Okay, and uh, we're going to add some attributes to it. These are the columns um, uh, that uh, we're going to have. So we're going to have date. Of type date. We're going to have uh, name of type string and we're also going to have id which is going to identify this uniquely so we're going to have id okay and we're going to use this id to basically search for uh, update and delete cases okay um, so go ahead and save this now what's going to happen is uh, as soon as you save these uh, uh, basically uh, there's going to be a um, a file uh, that's going to be created that he's not going to see but there's going to be an auto-generated file that's going to create a model for you because the code gen uh, defined here is class definition and and leave it at that uh, and it's going to create a birthday uh, class model okay and we're going to use that class model uh, in a little bit so uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into your if um, your Let's see, services uh, class, uh, services folder, and uh, we're gonna create a new file here. And uh, this new file is gonna be of type swift file. And we're gonna call this one data manager. So this is gonna be our core data manager. And uh, this is where we are gonna write the code to basically uh, deal or interact with our, um, with our core data. So it's going to have all the functionality that is there basically to get birthdays, to, to update them and uh, delete them. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's going to be CRUD operation. So get birthday, save birthday, remove birthday and update birthday. So these are going to be these are going to be the operations that we're going to be writing in this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to first import uh, UI kit and uh, we're going to import core data. We're going to need both of them. And then we're going to create a class data manager. Okay. 
Now this data manager needs access to uh, uh, NS uh, managed context uh, that we have created in our uh, in our app delegate. Uh, so this guy right here. So basically, this actually gives us this persistence container has a managed context that we can get access to. And the way we can get access to is uh, via app delegate. So we're gonna create an extension. And this extension is gonna be on NS manage object context. Okay. And uh, we're gonna create a static property current to get current um, to get current state of as best manage object and uh, we're gonna simply say let app delegate is equal to UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate and then we're gonna return app delegate dot persistence container dot view context this view context is going to be our um, ns manage context okay so if you look at type it's uh, ns manage context object context okay that's what we need so let's go ahead and uh, go to the top and uh, we're going to say static let shared data manager and uh, we're going to say ns manage context dot current okay so let's create a uh, variable called manage context manage, manage object context and we're going to create a private initializer so this is going to be a singleton class and it's going to take moc that's what we are supplying here which is going to be of type and it's manage object context and whatever is being supplied uh, we're going to uh, basically uh, apply that so dot manage object context is equal to MC okay what has been supplied to us in this we have this in it it's gonna be um, it's gonna be uh, put into this uh, manage context okay and we are only creating a shared context here so and in this shared context uh, we are getting the current context which is coming from app delegate all right now uh, we are ready to use this so let's write first function to get records okay to get records we're gonna simply say punk get first days okay this is going to return an array of something what the something is basically a birthday and if you notice this is the birthday uh, the same birthday that we have created entity for and there is an auto generated file in the background that we can use so birth day or birthdays uh, and we're going to initialize it with a with an empty um, array and uh, we're going to simply say let pd request is equal to or actually it has to be given a type and it's fetch request birthday is equal to birthday dot fetch request okay that's part of the core data context that actually gives us um, and now we're gonna simply say do birthdays is equal to try self dot manage context dot fetch pd request okay and uh, we catch any errors and uh, let's go ahead and print them right now okay uh, and we're gonna simply say return birthdays like so okay so that let's go ahead and build and that actually gives us our birthdays list of birthdays okay um so similarly let's go ahead and finish this file because this is basically the file that interacts with all the core data related things so we're simply gonna put everything that we need uh, that deals with core data into this so let's go ahead and give save birthday I'll create a function for that too So 
is going to take ID, name, date, and it's going to create a birthday out of this. So birthday context is going to be self dot manage context. And then we simply say do try self dot manage context dot save catch print error. Okay, so that is our save save birthday. Now let's go ahead and talk about removing. So let's say. Uh, remove birthday and we only need UID for this and this is not going to return anything now we're going to get a fetch request and a special request of type birthday is equal to birthday dot fetch request. We're gonna get fetch request a predicate, which is gonna say ns predicate, and this is how we can search init, and this init is gonna take a format of string, and we're gonna say search for id, where id is equal to percent at, um, which is id dot uuid string. So it, this is basically gonna uh, construct that query select uh, conflicts if you want to see how the sql might look like so like star from um, birthday where id is equal to something right so this is the this is the query that's going to generate uh, kind of uh, sort of query that's going to generate and uh, then uh, you put your do try catch block and uh, let's go ahead and print the error if there's any and now here we're gonna say so we get uh, a bunch of birthdays back so we are simply gonna um, fetch them and store them and then we're gonna loop over the returned results and we're going to simply say okay so whichever uh, however many matches we have found we're going to actually simply remove them uh, this case is going to be it, it should be only one so we should be good but like you know if there are more than one uh, then they're gonna get deleted but because our id uuid is unique it should only delete one okay now uh, let's go ahead and write our last function for this class which is which is gonna be update birthday okay this is gonna take id uuid uh, it can uh, user can update name or date so we're gonna take both of them as well once again we're gonna generate our fetch requests We're gonna once again search for the ID. Do catch block. And then here, uh, we're gonna simply say let 
birthday is equal to same thing try self dot manage context dot fetch request dot fetch fetch request and this time we can actually get fancy and say just get us the first one okay we only know we know that it's just going to be one and uh we're going to say um, dot date is equal to date that's been supplied um in birthday dot name is equal to the name that's been supplied and simply save this there we go so this is basically gonna save the birthday that we are trying to save all right with that uh this class is complete actually uh, all your core data related um uh, core data related uh uh, operations are complete in this so let's go over it one more time so we created a data manager class we created a shared singleton instance that actually gets the managed context from current and current is basically just going into the app delegate and getting the persistence container from there so if you go into the app delegate this is these two functions should be there the one that connects to your um, to your data model is uh, basically gonna give us the managed context and uh, basically view context that's so going to be the uh, type uh, managed context and we get hold of that managed context we save it and uh, then we use it whenever we want to use it for example we create a get records or get birthdays function that actually returns array of birthday so we create a um, uh, we create hey um that's a misspelling but we fix this okay get birthdays so um then it creates a, an array empty array of birthdays create a fetch request which actually fetches all the birthdays there are in the core data and then um basically this is where we are constructing the fetch request and this is where we are doing the actual operation inside to cache block because uh, there's a a try it can throw an error so we are printing an error and we are returning the result of purchase if there is nothing then it's going to return empty okay then comes the save part where we actually expect a user to pass id name and date uh, to save a new birthday and we create a birthday context with the current context uh, that actually uh, makes it easy for us just call in save and whatever property we have updated or added they're gonna get saved in the managed context that means if the record does not exist in the uh, in the database then it's gonna get created if it exists then it's gonna be saved but this is not gonna be the way actually to do it because this is the way to do the save okay so this is to create a new record and this is to update a new record so this is um so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the update one because we're talking about it for update what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for the record that you need to update using ns predicate and uh, you're gonna give it a format that id is equal to this so whatever id that user has applied trying uh, the user the birthday that you're trying to user is trying to update that birthday uh it's going to be that id is going to be passed in here and that birthday is going to be returned if it's found okay once it is found we simply gonna say update the date that's been supplied and update the name that's been supplied and save manage context and that's gonna save your birthday remove its similar operation as update you actually do still do the search for ns predicate and then once you have uh, found records you can actually just simply call delete on them and it's gonna basically delete that record all right so this is it for um for core data manager class uh, so let's go ahead and save this one and uh, in the next video we're gonna start working on our views and view models okay so let's go ahead and hop on to the next video where we're gonna be uh, starting off our view model uh, first okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you